at the time of crucifixion, there are two individuals, uh, which, you know, are notably at the left and right hand side yeah. of Christ. Mm -hmm. So I if you wouldn't mind. Two thieves. Mm -hmm. One is fear of the future and the other is regret for the past. A regret for the past and fear of the future. The two thieves that steal everything from you is a fear of the future and the, uh, and the, uh, regret for the past. It uh -huh. takes your time and your worth. And it's just taking time away from you. And so it's a thief in your life. The fear of the future and the uh, regret for the past. Hmm. And so the two are on both sides of the sun because the sun brings light into the world. But if you're in the dark, you're always worrying about the regret for the past and the fear of the future. The two thieves that have robbed you of your capability of understanding and of living. Hmm. Well, that and was so, that was a much shorter answer than I thought we were going to get for that. Uh, you know, and, and there's an interesting thing about thievery, which uh, runs through the text, which runs through the concepts here. Uh, even the legend, right, uh, the, the gypsy legend, if you will, about, uh, you know, the, the reason why gypsies, uh, this is one of those weird things, right? The, the gypsy legend of the boy who steals one of the nails, uh, you know, while Christ was being crucified, um, there's this concept of like just thievery, so to speak, and then yes. the thievery that is, uh, based on the adversarial way that the world is running, really. You know, mm -hmm. why are you concerned about what's in the dark if the same thing is in the light that is in the dark? Well, it's because you've been given to fear that. And like you say, when you're not on the sun, to the left or to the right, either direction you go in, uh, you, you can find if you are not doing things within the light, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. If you go uh, right. too far right or left of it, uh, you find yourself in the dark and you find yourself maybe uh, literally restricting yourself, even in a psychological, emotional way, uh, by right. regrets of the past or fear of the future. These two things will restrict your actions, will take joy from you, will take you away from the light, which is at the center of the imagery. So it makes perfect sense to me, Jordan. Yep, and uh, and also... The, the the Bible is filled, the, the New Testament especially, is filled with astrological symbolism because the basic story about Jesus in the New Testament is referred to by the people who study these subjects of ancient religions, mm -hmm. is referred to as astrotheology. It's an astrological story. Mm 